This month's prompt for hashtag PT Tack Club was Egyptian and I don't have anything remotely Egyptian in my stash. So how are we going to solve this problem? Stick around and I will show you. So hello, it's Ashley here from Paper and Twine and welcome if you're new here, welcome if you are a returning subscriber. I have got a couple of books that I've inherited from my in-laws that have got Egyptian images in them. And I've just started to have a look in this one, Illustrated Dictionary of Essential Knowledge. It's a big beast. And um, I've just looked through and I've got an image here of Tutankhamun. I've cut my tag already to uh, six by 11 and a half centimetres. And what I've used is it's the back of a paper pad, I think. It was A4, it was in my stash, so I'm going to use that waste not want not so i'm going to cut this down a bit i think i've got also um there's a lot to do with world war ii something here about ancient egypt i might rip and tear a little bit and i've also got this book here everyday life through the ages so when my in-laws were moving from their four bedroom house to their two bedroom apartment um, they wanted to declutter obviously and I like a little eagle <laughs> little magpie whatever bird of your choice I thought all oh, those books would be good for paper crafting so I've inherited quite a few the downsize is that they're cluttering up my space but this everyday life through the ages ages is a good book and um, it has got a whole section on Egyptians now some of this is going to be far too big for what we need but I thought there's little bits that we could cut into so um, yes we will have a look and see I've got a little um, map here that shows a little bit of Egypt Kush that's nice isn't it as one okay. Nubia upper Egypt lower Egypt didn't know there was an upper and lower Egypt, did you? Um, we've got all these lovely ancient um, drawings and things that we might cut into. Obviously, Egypt is known for hieroglyphs as well, isn't it? And I thought that I might have some stamps somewhere with hieroglyphs, but I haven't. So we've got this that we might come and use little bits of there's plenty here lots to learn about and the egyptians were an amazing civilization weren't they so we'll just pop that down there to cut into if we need it and i think the first thing i'm going to do is fussy cut this um image of tutankhamun i might not use all of it and i shall keep the other bits of text and what have you for other things because you never know when they might come in so that can go back inside the book and um, I'm going to rip down here and rip down here and just rip there so we've got that that we can use um, and I did say in my last video um, what did people prefer from the crafting point of view do you like me to chat like this or do you like me to speed up and uh, put music over the top and a lot of you said um, you prefer the chat so here I am chatting <laughs> and um, if that's not your bag if you don't want to hear me drone on which you know every respect to you if you don't i really do not mind um by all means put me on mute and uh, put me on 1.75 speed or whatever speed you like i will not be in the least bit offended i'm just very glad that you've clicked on this video and if you don't know what hashtag pt tag club is every month on the 10th of the month i pull a prompt from a pot that i've got I will leave the video linked in the description box and if the month has got um, 30 days in it like November has I pull one prompt if it's got two days in it like uh, December will have I will be pulling two prompts and there are no rules you don't have to join in you can just click on the hashtag and see what everybody else has made um, 
and if you do join in if it is a month with two prompts you can combine both prompts on one tag you can just do one of the prompts you can do two tags with either prompt there are no rules so that is that done and um were egyptians one of the civilizations that produced paper papyrus and things um i've got this in my stash that is incredibly thick i mean it is almost a two millimeters thick this paper so we might use a little bit of this i like the muted colors then um i don't have anything with hieroglyphs as i say i wish i had but i've pulled out a couple of stamps that i think might be useful and i thought we'd try a bit of gold not heat embossing it but um, just in the background so i've got this from funky fossil which is designed by sarah gray who owns funky fossil and it's all these doodles i like the edges so i might use something like this or this or that even we'll have a little look but then i've also got this kind of scribble background from alan create is this a um yeah it's a bipasha um stamp you can see that was only three pounds that was a good bargain for alan create wasn't it i thought yeah i might do this but as i say i'm surprised i hadn't got any um kind of hieroglyphs maybe there's a gap in the market there for some egyptian themed stamps so what i'm going to do i think is just dip this into my tag i'm just looking to see which way i think this is the right way up dip this into my ink i'm not even putting it on a block and i'm just going to stamp little bits of it so the gold will be very subtle on the background i'm just covering all over this was the ink that came with the Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen um, stamps that I bought from Aldi. And my Aldi have still got some if you are interested. Um, that doesn't want to sit in there nice now though. Maybe it goes that way. That's better. Yes, there is a right and a wrong way to put that in. So if I bring that up to the camera, you can just see there's a faint little bit of shimmer in the background there which is really nice that's just what i want so i think what i'm going to do now oh get in here i should clean it really but i'm not that mm, i'm not that precious with my stamps i really am not i think we will come in with I think I'm going to use this and I think I'm going to use black let's just get it on this block here actually it won't fit on the whole thing but I don't need all of it and I don't mind if I don't get a complete impression because I'm going to do some other things that have come to mind while I've been pondering what to do. So I'm going to put that there like that and I think we'll have one at the top and one in the middle so it's just peeking through. Now you know I normally have some paper on my desk as a thing to keep my workspace clean but I haven't today so I thought this looked a bit tidier. I think that is all the stamping I'm going to do for now and I think we might have that there like so. Oh, I think that's what I might do. No, I don't know. Now, I think I might put this on the back, actually. Yeah, I'm going to stick that on the back. Like so. So I'm going to put glue 
this little bit of collar all over this. Make sure that, and I'm going to just do that like so, so you can see a little bit of the colour underneath of the tag like so and just tear and the collar will dry clear so I don't mind about that and even if I get a little bit of marking from it it will just add a little something and then that gives me a hint then as to what the prompt was and we'll just trim round like so and it doesn't matter that that little bit's hanging off the edge i think at this point now i can punch my hole in you know me i'm hopeless at getting them central there we go that's that these little bits can go in top top bin i don't want to keep that i don't think so i've got that on the back of my tag which will serve as a reminder of what the prompt was and then we've got this on the front and I'm going to put that there like so. I'm going to stick that down with this glue. Wally Steph asked a question in one of my videos and I'm sorry I've been really lax on replying to comments but I think I have replied to most of them now. Um, she asked what glue I use and in this bottle here with this fine applicator tip I use a glue it's suitable for book binding apparently and it's from Pink Frog and I get it from Dragon's Papercraft it's what Hazel recommends of late and um, you get it in quite a big bottle and then I've decanted it into this little fine tip applicator bottle which Hazel also sells. You get a pair of them. This is, is this the other one? No, there's a, there's a bigger one, which I've got another glue in. Um, where is it? Yeah. I think you get that one as well. I think that's the one that's got collal in it, but I don't like using it from that. And in fact, they're not very good with those silicon type glues, but it's perfect for if you've got art glitter glue, although that comes in a, a container with a, um, fine applicator already doesn't it um, I don't know whether I like those peeking off that way so I'm just going to rip them like that so we've got a little bit of detail going on here now this is where I'm going to have a little bit of an experiment I think I think we might just stick Tutankhamun there let's just get inky and messy and I must apologize for the state of my hands my hands always suffer anyway I think I'm quite hard on my hands but um in winter even though I put hand cream on my hands just really suffer and I caught a nail right down low there so yeah not nice is it can you see that little bit of gold coming through there now I thought that I wanted to use a little bit of this and I think I still might just to have a little nod oh, I wish I'd layered that up actually I wonder if I can get under there before that's set fully no I can't okay maybe I'll scrap that yes I'm going to scrap that okay what I'm going to do now I'm going to come in with some champagne gold stencil butter and I'm using this stencil from Carrie Gibson Art. I will leave her linked down below and this is the first time I've used this stencil um, butter that I got from Funky Fossil and I'm just going to use a little bit and I think that this kind of looks a little bit Egyptian to me 
and I'm just going through trying not to um, get any other parts of the stencil involved here so scrape that and pop that back in and just okay and I'm going to lift my stencil oh and actually I don't mind that I've got a bit of texture I'm just going to scrape what's on my stencil and pop it back in the pot I'm just going to lift that little bit off there however and you know I don't mind that I've got a little smudge there what I am going to do I'm just going to clean this up because I want to use the stencil again with something else so I've had a little clear up and I don't know whether this is going to work um but I'm going to see what that looks like if I do rub it off actually oh that's fine that's fine um I want to use my gilding flakes because these colours kind of remind me of jewels in the in the um, pyramids from the pharaohs. So I've got I've got no idea whether this is going to work. I've got some of my cosmic shimmer um, glitter glue, and this is a new one actually. So I need to snip the top off. So I've got it, yes. And I'm just going to squeeze some onto my craft mat. Might need to snip a bit more off. Oh, that was, that was tough. That's got it. There was a little air bubble. And that's probably more than enough. Let's just wipe the top of that. Gosh, this, this is very sticky very sticky I'm going to need to go wash my hands probably but um, well, I've got a little bit of cut and dry foam and it's not very clean actually but it doesn't matter because um, we're going to be putting gilding flakes over it and I'm just going to go through the stencil here I've just turned it on its side Yes, if you're going to use cut and dry foam, use some that's clean, but I think it could be fine. So I just need to wait for that to dry a little bit. I think I'll just come on the edge here with a little bit more, like so. There we go. And when that has gone kind of clear, we can apply our gilding flakes. I'm going to go and clear up again. So this is tacky now and we'll see if these will fit. Otherwise, it's going to look like a hot mess. So these are the Lavinia uh, metallic gilding flakes in Glamour. I just really liked all of the gorgeous colours that are in there. I'm taking the lid off carefully. And thank goodness it's got that. Now I want to get a range of colours. Oh, look at that. That is so gorgeous. I had hoped that the pot would be bigger but if you've used gilding flakes before, you will know that these do have a habit of kind of multiplying. I need to get a little bit of paper underneath actually to catch my little bits to put back in the pot. There we go, I've got some here. Oh, right. Don't sneeze or use these in air conditioning. Oh, look, we want a little bit of that. And a little bit there. Okay, right, let's have a look. So I haven't got a scoochie. I'm just going to put the lid on this. Open this out. Be careful. I should have probably waited for my stencil paste to dry. But we're just going to... And where I've got that cosmic shimmer glitter glue through the stencil, it's stuck. 
You can see I must have it must have bled a bit there, but I quite like that. Got a little bit of glue on there. Now the gold ink that I did the background in has kind of disappeared now. It's kind of soaked into the card. Oh my god, look at the gorgeous colours in that. I love it. Right, and not a lot came off that. But we'll pop these little bits in the pot. Oh, it would help if you took the lid off, wouldn't it, Ashley? <laughs> yes, and you just have to be prepared that these bits do go everywhere and you'll be finding them forever and a day. We will keep that there just to keep it sealed. I'm very impressed with the colours in that. And then I've just got, I think I'm going to put that there like that for the Egyptians and just keep it plain and simple. So that is it. That is me done. I didn't use anything from that other book in the end other than this which was part of the title page. There we go. I've never been very good at using gilding flakes. I think it's something that I do want to practice. So there we go come back on the 10th of December to find out what the next two prompts are for the hashtag PT Tag Club. If you do click on the hashtag you'll be able to see um, what anybody else has made. Uh, some people post on YouTube, some people post on Instagram. Love it if you joined in. Do take care everybody. I'll be back tomorrow with the coffee shop trifle. Bye now.